large public gatherings are cancelled. Obsidian Saga Rovers have both reluctantly had to suspend payments to staff in recent days as the financial pressures of the coronavirus begin to mount. Uh, draw it in the same boat as well. There are plans to restart the league in mid-June, with both saying they will honour contracts, though the situation will be kept under continuous review. day-to-day -day life kind of look like at the moment? I suppose, yeah. Um, I try to set myself a routine to keep me somewhat sane anyway. So I wake up in the morning, I kind of do um, mobility. We have a kind of session made out from the, the strength and conditioning coach and it's on a huge program, so I'm trying to follow that as best I can. So yeah. I wake up in the morning, do a bit of mobility and stretching and stuff like that, and I go out and do my running, and then come in, have my breakfast and have a bit of food, and then I suppose I'm kind of up the walls, you know, college and stuff with the exam season coming up. So I'm trying to do a bit of college work at the end of the day and then a bit of gym work at night. And then I suppose then play off the PS, PS4 and a few on Netflix and stuff like that. So it's probably yeah, trying to keep routine anyway. Obviously, being a young professional in a career that kind of is very limiting to the point that you, you're probably not going to be playing football uh, at 40. Do you think this current situation of lockdown and no games kind of being played? Is that thing that's going to affect the progression of young professionals all over the country? Yeah, I suppose that that's a great question, like, you know, but we're all in kind of in the same boat. Everyone worldwide, it's kind of halted mm -hmm. everyone for a couple of months. So obviously, it's not it's not uh, ideal. Like, but you know, we we have to get on with it. We have to follow the guidelines, kind of stay inside and you know, protect as many people as we can. But I suppose for ourselves, all we can do is kind of uh, keep taking us, keep taking away, away, keep working hard, and hard. be ready for when we are called back in. Okay, so obviously, Paul's already made a statement along with Sligo and I, uh, I think a few other teams, um, saying that they're unable at the moment to pay uh, the wages of staff and, and, and players included. Um, obviously, the League of Ireland doesn't have the type of money that other leagues, like the Premier League, the Liga, all the other kind of top leagues in the world. Um, has um so it's likely that other clubs are gonna follow in this situation do you think this is gonna like affect the league quite negatively yeah i, I suppose it is a tough time for all league of Ireland clubs as you said like we obviously don't have the money if, uh, and the channel tv coverage is a uh, premier league and all that kind of stuff so it is a testing time for every club involved but i suppose the club's been brilliant with us they've been constantly emailing us constantly telling us like uh if any any uh, guidelines or anything like that, they're always on to us, giving as much information as possible. So at that, like, there's not much we can do, and the club can do. You know what I mean? It's the circumstances we're in, but uh, at the moment, it's it's been handled very well, and very professionally. So I suppose, yeah, it's not not uh, not too bad at the moment. So hopefully, long may continue anyway. And do you think the current, obviously, uh, one of our situation will have any long-lasting effects on football in Ireland? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I hope like when it, when it, it all comes to a halt that we just come we pick off where we left off, you know. But obviously it will have uh, kind of uh, big effects on clubs financially. And same with a lot of businesses in Ireland, as you've seen with like dead thumbs there today and stuff like that. So it is only natural that it's going to have a very bad effect financially. But hopefully when we get back, we can pick things up as a as a whole in the country to get the place where back where it belongs. Do you think uh, your passion for football would be affected at all by the coronavirus? Football has changed. Football is a business, not just a game anymore. And while no football is being played, that business is losing money. The League of Ireland simply doesn't have the money that the Premier League, the League or Bundesliga has and because of this probably cannot afford to pause football as long as these other leagues might be able to. 
You see, this situation took everyone by surprise, and you could argue there is no procedure in place for dealing with it. Insurance companies are still asking for money to insure stadiums and offices that are empty. Sponsors in many situations have given money with no possibility of profiting from their sponsorship. Questions like, how should the league finish have 20 different answers and nobody knowing the correct one? Lawyers will be brought in to settle disputes, but even after the lockdown is finished and football starts again, nobody has a clue what happens next. The phrase, unprecedented time, has become a very popular phrase all over the world, because that's exactly what these times are. Unprecedented. Nobody has a clue what's around the corner. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the league is affected, easily affected by outside factors, because if people are losing their jobs and then discretionary spending is going to have to go down. And one of the things, sadly, that's discretionary spending is going to football matches. All of us are absolutely starved of live football. Yeah. And when football comes back, I think, maybe I'm doing it myself as well, but I'll probably be going to three, four, five games. If there's three games on at the weekend in Dublin, I'll be going to them. Um, whereas I might have picked one uh, as a neutral. Um, I might have picked one in a weekend instead of going to trying to go. God, I just miss football so much. I'll go to as much as I can. Houlihan inviting is there! The top, Hendrick is there. Hendrick back in the danger zone. It's there! It's John O'Shea on his 100th international who brings out at level. Ireland do it! Robbie Keane! Do you think uh, your passion for football would be affected at all by the coronavirus? No, not really. I think. Uh... So absence makes the heart go fonder, as they say. Like, so I'm not on board, like, so at home now, just missing it, just missing training with the lads, just that game day feeling on a Friday. So it's kind of, you're waking up every day with just the same routine, so the same thing every day. When it's over now, like, you, you'll be going back into football, the training, so the excitement, the emotion, the passion, like, and I think now that, uh, like, I'm buzzing to get back, like, I miss it so much already. So, no, I, I think now it'll make it everyone, everyone, so all, even the fans, that they look forward to that bit more, much more when it, when, it, when it is called back. I would imagine, I, and I often talk, talk with the other fans, that a lot of people will actually just be desperate to get back into a stadium and watch some live football. I suppose just stay positive, really. That's what all, all we can do. And I suppose kind of follow the guidelines everyone sets out to save as many people as we can and put a stop to this as, as quick as possible so we can all get back out there on Friday night and get the point for teams as we all love doing.